G'day YouTube, my name's Lance, welcome to Bundy Bear's Shed. So this is just a little bit of an introduction to the Massey Ferguson 20 that we bought recently. Um, we only just picked it up last week, so I've got it in the front bay here. We're um, having a bit of a look around it um, just to see what we need to do. Um, the serial number is 809954, so MF20809954. It's a three cylinder Perkins and it has the AD3152 engine. Same as the 148, late 35, late 135, I'm sorry. And um, yeah, we picked this up out on a local farm. It had been used on an orchard and for its working life, or its latter working life at least, it had a trailer on the back and it just had fruit bins from where people picked fruit and they'd load the bins in onto the back of the trailer here. So the it's done very little PDO work. The clutch and the PDO still works great. The, um, the hydraulics, the lift at the back doesn't work. I've done a couple of tests with that and the pump seems to be working, the control valve's working, but there's something not going on up in the lift cover. So as part of the sort out of this tractor, we'll probably have to lift the hydraulic cover off and run through that. I bought it with the hydraulics not working, with the power steering not working. It does turn, you can turn it manually, but it's very hard to turn. Um, the, the plans with this tractor, look, it, it will get painted up eventually and you know part of our tractors that we take around to shows the the show circuit here in Queensland but for the moment we're not interested in the full rebuild for the moment we're just going to run through um, do what we need to um, I've got a camera you might see a little camera there um, I'm just after I have a talk about this tractor we're going to hop into the diagnosis of the power steering and see why the power steering's not working. So the first job we'll do is get the steering going. Um, the second job will be obviously the hydraulics. It needs a full service. We don't know when it's been serviced last. The, it's had a gear stick boot missing and it's sat out in the weather. So the oil in the back end does look quite milky. So that'll be taken out and serviced. The brakes seem to work well. It starts and runs very easily. Um, and it's nice to drive. It's actually a, a good tractor to drive apart from being a bit hard in the steering. The steering wheel is worn down to the steel frame. Um, so that's fine. <laughs> we don't worry about that either. Um, it's got a, it, it's the model with the dry air cleaner on it and the evacuator or the duck's bum, we call them, on the bottom of the air cleaner has been missing for ages. So when we've pulled the filter out to have a look and get the measurements make sure we've ordered the right one um, it's just full of dirt in there so um, the air cleaner hose from the air cleaner to the manifold is very hard it looks like the original water pump on it and these tractors the, the last ones come out in 1978 I believe so I'd imagine it's had a kit through it the radiator looks good the grill's a bit knocked around here um, that's fine as well the, it should have an emblem coming across here and the emblem was the Massey Ferguson triple triangle but then they had the industrial, the upside down loader bucket with Massey Ferguson on it. Um, I'm looking for one of them if anyone knows where there is one. The guards are a little bit rusty, it's got a Flatford roll frame on it. Um, that's a good thing. I've had a play with the hydraulics and I've worked out that the Hydraulic valve works, the pump seems to be pumping up to the stand pipe, but it's just not working. So we'll run through tests there. But um, I've done a little walk around video for our for my weekly kangaroo stew for the people that follow that each week. So I'll put that on the end here. And the main thing for the moment is we're just gonna do videos on getting this mechanically sound, get everything working that we think needs to work. Um, fix any leaks like the fuel lift pumps leaking um, yeah we're just going to service it right up and, and get it running nicely and then at a later date when we get time um, yeah we'll probably pop the panels off and once you've done all the mechanicing it's okay it's not going to be a full restoration 
as in the motor starts and runs nicely, the clutch works well, the gearbox seems to work well, um, the brakes aren't half bad for one of these old girls, I'll probably have a look. I can just see on one side there's a slight weep out of an axle seal, so we'll repair that. And the tie rod ends are good, but um, there's just no power steering and it's very tight to steer. So, yeah, follow along. Um, I don't know what time frame. We'll just work along with this tractor. The, um, we'll tack the video on, the walk around from the kangaroo stew on the end here. And, um, yeah, this is our little Massey Ferguson 20 Industrial. And look, they're really based on a 135, 148. That's the that's the base where the 148 has the extended gearbox housing by six inches this doesn't have that um, so it's more like a, a late model um, straight axle 135 with power steering or power assisted steering so so anyway have a look at my little walk around here um, yeah we'll just hop straight in now into after the little walk around the next video you see will be diagnosing the steering here and yeah we'll work out what we need to order to fix that up. Okay well here's a little bit of a walk around of our little Massey Ferguson 20 we picked up through this last week. Now the 20 is it's got an AD3152 engine it's uh, it's like a 135 basically um, yeah the bones are basically the late 135 it has the straight axle um, the bonnet you will see familiar from a 135 they have the Massey Ferguson 20 and a little emblem of some sort there. Um, actually looks like just a sticker. I don't know what those two holes will be for. Are they around the other side? Yep, they're there too, so I don't know. But it has power assisted steering that doesn't work. Um, when I bought it, look, the, the panels are nice and pretty good really. Um, when I bought it, I've bought it with the hydraulics not working. They don't know why, I haven't bothered looking into it. They, they didn't need them to work. The power steering, so these have power assisted steering. So you have a, a power steering pump down through there and a cylinder either side. They're not working, there's no power assist at all. I've checked the reservoir and it's full. So there's something wrong there. Um, yeah, the tyres, back rubber's good. There is a bit of rust in the guards down in between there. Um, around the back here, the linkage arms are off and it's had a drawbar. And all it ever did while they had it was tow fruit picking trailers. So that's why it's got no linkage arms on it. Um, a little bit rough. But look, it's okay. The tyres are good. Um, it's a downswept exhaust. The dash under the panel there is missing. He, they said they think they've seen that there somewhere. If they find it, they'll give us a yell. If not, we'll just get one. Um, yeah, steering wheel's a bit dicky. I've got a couple of gauges and also a bare co seat. And up here, it's a Flatford roll frame. Now they were sold by Vapormatic in Australia back in the day, so that's been there for quite a long time. Um, the dash isn't too bad um, for what you can see now with the, the pre-cleaner here we'll pull that out we'll put that down on a foot plate here and I'll pull this plate off now down inside here I'll try and yeah now this valve here that's the power steering valve on these and so it feels like it's it's traveling all the way like they only move a little bit and it's equal equally poor steering both left to right so so that's working you can see the column on the dash there goes up and down and that's that's what works this this valve but look there's just no power steering at all so I'll be keen to get that going, have a bit of a look and see. Um, I've got an O-ring kit coming for this valve. I doubt it's the valve. Um, I think it's probably the pump, something down in there. But um, the, 
this front axle will come around so I've got the light behind me. Now, this is what a front axle should look like. So, they've got like half a, half a cover, the bearing's out in the open a little bit. And this side here's had something else put there. Um, I just don't know what it's from. It's, it's grey, but see the, and it may be off a 135, an early 135 with a solid axle or something. I don't know. So that's going to get fixed up. And the, the kingpin doesn't come out through the top there. So um, I do have new RAM seal kits, power steering cylinder kits on order. Um, the top there is okay. I am looking for, like they had a bar going across here and they had the normal Massey Ferguson triple triangle under there but then they had the upside down industrial bucket with MF that bolted onto that so if anyone sees one of them for sale give me a yell please um, yeah the grill needs a bit of a replacement it has a generator on it now all their tractors have this shield that was a workplace health and safety thing and they have a an alternator and the alternator just makes sense on a picking tractor. They're not roaring along all day, they're starting, they're moving down a bit further and they're stopping again. So an alternator just makes sense. That's quite a good bracket. All their tractors have those brackets and when we get round to painting this tractor, which is, look, it's not on the cards to start with. Um, on the cards to start with is to give this thing a service and just get it working and but I, I think I'll put that cover back on. Now it should have a foot throttle on it and the foot throttle here is missing. Now inside there you can see where it's been broken off at some stage so that the pedal's been broken so I'd say they've hit something with this and it snapped the pedal off and wrecked all the linkages and all that sort of thing so I do have an aftermarket foot throttle assembly coming to try and Put that all back to how it was. Um, the brackets are still up in the dash there for it. The fuel lift pump's leaking on it. So we know about that. Um, both steering rams leak. Um, it leaks from the valve or it's leaking up here somewhere. I didn't have a gear stick boot on it and they, they warned me. <laughs> they said um, it's probably got water in the transmission because um, yeah, because they were tractors that weren't getting sold anymore, they they didn't get the opportunity of um, having shed space, so they sat outside. Um, there's no oil on the dipstick in the transmission. The the duck's bum's been missing off the air cleaner here for a long time, and I've had these filters out to order new ones, and it's just filthy inside there. There should be a sealing rubber around there. It's not there. Um, but yeah, first up, we're just going to, oh, they were telling me, I said, oh, you got the diff lock wired up there. And I said, yeah, that was because the backpackers would get out way up the paddock, and this is off a big farm. They'd get way up the paddock and they'd say, oh, this tractor won't steer. I can't get it to turn around the corner. And they'd have the diff lock jammed in. So, um, so anyway, they, so they wired the diff lock up there with a bit of farmer's friend to stop that. Doesn't matter where you have the gear, uh, the linkage levers here. Um, put them in constant pump. There's no rattle from the pump at all. There's nothing. So I'm going to pull this top off first off and just see if there's any oil coming up there or not. Now another thing that's a bit of a, a bit of a warning sign is this stud here. Now these two here, and there should be two there. They hold the lift cylinder in place under the cover. That's got a screw missing, and I'm a stud missing, so who knows what's going on there. We'll find out, no doubt. Um, but on some of these pumps, in behind this side plate here, there was a, um, like they had a, the pump actuating lever had like a rivet on it, and they'd pop off there. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to pop that side cover and have a look. I'm not going to put, fill it up with nice clean oil just yet. I want to see how much is in there. And if the screen is covered in the pump, um, that's all I'm going to worry about until I change it. Um, yeah, lift pump's leaking. The power steering pump, I'm going to pop that apart. I'll try and 
try and pressure test it if I can get any pressure. It just doesn't feel like there's anything at all. Um, I've got a new water pump and hoses and the old downswept exhaust. Um, but yeah, look, that's about it. Um, I will, it will have its own playlist and it'll just have a playlist called Massey Ferguson 20 serial number such and such and um, that's it. Oh, the serial number on the dash, I haven't been able to date this one yet, is MF 20809954. So I often look on tractor data or um, we have a good website, Queensland Tractor Spares, so um, yeah, but I haven't got any information on this Industrial 20, so um, that'd probably be a job for James. <laughs> James is good at finding stuff like that. There you go. That's a Massey Ferguson 20.